It didn't look too good for the Wildcats that day. It was homecoming, and we were losing to the Jayhawks by nine points. But things were about to get worse. And now Smartesso forced to play catch up, and it's picked off. Robert Vaughn has it and goes out of bounds at the 15. Another turnover. That's the sixth one today by Kansas State. Well, some dejected Kansas State fans starting to head for home. Now, you're probably wondering why these loyal K-State fans are heading to the exit with 10 minutes left in the game. Fact is, they were sick of it. We all were. We K-State fans have been watching KU kick our butt since 1902, back when we were still the Kansas State Agricultural College. In the first 25 years of the rivalry, KSAC went 5-16-3 against KU. After 1927, when we dropped the Agricultural and just became Kansas State College, we got a little better, but not much. We didn't become Kansas State University until 1955, and that's when it really got bad. From 1955 to 1990, K-State's record against KU was 8-26-2, giving us a cumulative record over the past 88 years of 25, 52, and 8. What's worse, KU had held us to under a touchdown 47 times, and they'd shut us out 24 times. Want some more perspective? I was born in 1963, smack dab in the middle of a six-year span when K-State couldn't even muster a point against KU. From 1963 through 1990, our record against KU was 5-22 and 1. 5-22. That's my birthday. So you can see why K-State fans were heading for the exit. We were used to losing to KU, and homecoming 1991 appeared to be no exception. First of all, we turned the ball over six times. Second of all, KU was getting a little help from the refs. He goes up, takes the ball away. Now the ball's trying to be stripped. He hits the ground, the ball pops out. He puts his hands on it, but never comes up with it. That's an incompletion. Oh boy, that's big. Third of all, KU had scored all of its points off those turnovers. So now we had the ball on our own six yard line, meaning we had to go 94 yards for a touchdown. And just to recap, we had no timeouts, we were trailing by two scores, and there were only eight minutes left in the game. Not much of a chance, right? So, who just threw that interception. Play action, Watson's gotta be careful in his own end zone. Michael Smith, in like nine plays to start the game, and they haven't done much since. Across the middle, a pass is caught by Benton. Freedom and uh, the Independence Bowl are here today watching this game. Smith with another grab, good for about nine yards on the first down. Watson, lots of time. Dumps it off to Hernandez. Near midfield, he'll go out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Watson again, this time his tight end, Russ Campbell. Inside Kansas territory. And Gallant has it. Second and five, though, for the Wildcats. Watson faking short, going long. Pass is almost intercepted, but not quite. Across the middle, another first down. Michael Smith again. Who else? Watson dumps it off to Campbell. Campbell breaking it back into the middle and close to another first down. Four minute mark. Gallon on the draw. Gallon looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. Wow. An onside kick and a field goal could win it for the Wildcats. Will they go for the onside kick? And he's going to send it deep. Going back for it. And George White. White bringing it back up. It's tripped up on the 25 yard line.
He's short. Mendez was there. Eichloff gets it out of there. Smith has it at the 22. Get out of bounds. Gallon on the draw. Up to the 46. Two to the left, one to the right. Watson almost goes over. Here comes Brown. Out of bounds goes Watson on third and 12. Watson with time across the middle. Back to throw. Now being rushed. Pumping the football, now throwing long. Throwing it up for Coleman. He makes the catch at the five. Touchdown, K-State! Touchdown, K-State! Touchdown, K-State! Touchdown, K-State! It was a broken play! A broken play! And Kansas State gets a touchdown to take the lead 16-12. to 12.